Okay, so today we're working with word problems with integers. I'm gonna go through two. There's so many I could do, but I'm gonna go two through, through two that generally people have the most difficulty going through. So here we go, first one. Bill walks from the basement of his office building to the roof. The depth of the basement is 42 feet below ground. The roof is 125 feet above ground. How much was his change in elevation? So we have a few things here to work through first. We have 42 feet below ground. Now, if we go all the way back to our first lesson, we know that's negative 42. Then we have the next piece. The roof is 125 feet above ground. That's a positive 125. Now we wanna find the difference between these two numbers, and we don't care if it's going up or going down. So we're gonna subtract these two, and we're gonna take the absolute value of it. Okay, so remember, absolute value we do with the last piece. So we're going to do negative 42 minus 125. So negative 42 minus 125, which I don't know why I put the other parentheses there because that should be this and this, sorry. This gets us negative 42 plus a negative 125. 42 and 125 gets us the absolute value of negative 167. The absolute value of negative 167 is just 167. So that's his change in elevation. Okay. Now another way to do it, and this is a way that I'm always a huge fan of. Here's our ground at zero. Here's our building that's 125 feet tall to the top. And then here's our basement here. That here is negative. So this would be 42 feet. Difference here to get negative 42. You would then take this value and this value showing the change from zero. They're each individual's absolute value. Adding those together to also get 167 feet difference. All right, so this is one to be careful on. Now, the next one's a two-part question. So, the heights of animals were observed in meters. We have an eagle that was 2,000 meters above ground, a crow that was 150 meters, a squirrel that was 15 meters in the air, a squirrel was not flying, the squirrel was in a tree, a catfish at negative 6 meters, and a giant squid at negative 1,464. What is the mean? This is also known as the average observation observed. So average observation, yeah, average observation observed. That's kind of a silly question to write, but what was the average elevation, not observation? Let me just fix that really quick for everybody because that's going to irritate me more than anybody else, I'm sure. So the average, let's do height because that's what we're measuring. Height observed. First things first, average. You find the sum of all these numbers, then you divide it by the number of numbers you had. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna break this up into two pieces. I'm gonna break this up into my positives and my negatives, all right? And I'm gonna add these two numbers together. So 2000 plus 150 plus 15 gets me 2,165. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the absolute value, the numbers here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my negatives. I have negative six plus negative 1,464. Since they have the same sign, I'm gonna keep the sign and I'm gonna add the two values, so I get negative 1,470. Now I still have to add these two pieces together. So 2,165 plus negative 1,470. My positive is larger than my negative, so my answer will be positive. In this case, I am gonna write the positive just so I remember. 
Then I'm going to find the difference between 2,165 and 1,470. So I'm going to do that right here. 2,165 minus 1,470. We get a 5. Now I'm showing the work. Then we have to borrow here. We get a 0 and a 16. 16 minus 7 gets me 9. And then 20 minus 14 gets me 6. So that's going to be the heights that I've observed when I add them all together. Now remember, when you add a negative, it's the same thing as subtracting a positive. So be careful. Then I'm going to go ahead and do this number here. I'm going to go actually down the page more past this other question. So normally in your paper, you'd have a little bit more room. So actually, you know what? I'm going to do this here. I'm going to go ahead and use another sheet. So we had 695 divided by our five terms. All right, because we had five animals we observed, we have to do the difference here. So 695, I'm gonna do this really quick. I'm not explaining, you know how to do long division. It goes in here once, five, one, nine, three, 15, 45, so an average of 139 meters. This is going to be your average or our mean. Now, we are going to be doing more with average and mean this year, but this is something that I know we covered last year in math, and I know this has been covered a few times. In case you haven't learned it, this is a nice review. Find the sum of the numbers, then divide it by the number of terms that you had. The last question what is the difference between the depth of the catfish and squid? Difference tells me to subtract. So, I'm going to actually do this right under the question. The catfish we said was at negative 6. The squid was at negative 1,464. But it says the difference, so I need to subtract. So I'm going to put parentheses around this just to make sure I don't have that double negative confuse me. So now since I have keep add opposite, negative six stays the same. Subtraction becomes addition, and that negative 1,464 becomes positive 1,464 because that is the opposite of it. Now I'm gonna look at absolute values. Obviously this is gonna keep the absolute value of, it has a larger absolute value, so our answer will be positive. And then I'm going to subtract 6 from 1,464 to get 1,458. And since we're dealing with integers, you don't have to write your, your units in. But we should know that it was in meters. All right. So these qu this question is the very last question on your test this week. Sorry, not necessarily this week, but your test coming up soon. Again... Please review all the videos from the entire unit. It will definitely help you on the exam. Have a great day, everyone, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in class.